Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PIFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week and I'm really looking forward for the upcoming week since we have some uh, good events to look for and um, there is uh, big opportunities to take um, next week. So while I wrote the intro and disclaimer, please hit that like button for me and if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. Yeah, see you over there. So welcome back guys, a quick look on the news calendar. Um, I know some of you skipped this, but it is very important week to keep an eye on these things, especially next week. We will start with the week with uh, Fed Chair Powell to speak on uh, Tuesday. And that is very, very important speech because uh, he may give us some hint about uh, the um, direction of the Fed um, looking forward because the market is or the market was firstly uh, uh, pricing in a uh, 50 basis point uh, cut but uh, uh, now we are it seems like the market is pricing in uh, 25 by basis point, uh, point cut uh, and after those uh, great NFP numbers uh, last week, we had uh, amazing number here. The unemployment, uh, a little bit of uptick, uh, but the uh, average hourly earning was a little bit lower. What is important here uh, that the previous month was revised from uh, 0.2 to 0.3. So this was revised higher the previous month. And um, after um, such numbers, will really the Fed um, cut the rates or uh, or not? So this is going to be uh, an important um, event. A even more important event going to be the CPI and the core CPI. Those are also numbers that the Fed uh, look at before taking such decision. And uh, for the CAD on Wednesday, we have also monetary policy. Uh, and the overnight uh, rate, the market are, is not expecting any cut. Uh, and uh, the Canadian uh, central bank is the the only one that is uh, uh, against all the rest. Yeah, not uh, talking about cut, not doing any cuts, uh, because uh, they still have um, good economy. And uh, we we will uh, really listen to what will uh, the press conference, how that would be if we're going to see any uh, dovish tone but I don't think that uh, the CAD the employment change was uh, a lower number but still unemployment rate was good and the, the um, there was a lot of full job gain uh, still in the uh, in uh, Canada the trade balance was a great number as well so uh, the the um, the Bank of Canada still do not have uh, reasons to do cuts. So again, keep an eye on these uh, uh, events next week. Uh, they're going to be very, very important. So um, over with that. So let's take a look at the chart. We're starting with the Dixie on the daily time frame. And guys, this ABCD uh, pattern here was a, a great example of how these patterns works. Um, those of you who follow me on uh, on uh, trading view uh, surely saw this idea where i explained uh, the abcd situation here and uh, we've got a very very nice bounce from here so usually um, you take profit uh, you first uh, take profit either 38.2 uh, and target 2 is 618 and both uh, target should be done uh, by now so the dixie did reach uh, the monthly R1 here at this level here we have the monthly R1 pivot and um, basically it is still have some room to uh, move higher maybe to test these highs uh, that is a possibility but uh, when and if it reached this level this is going to be a very very important area we see that we had a lot of trouble uh, previously on uh, when the market reached this level here we had three attempts that fails to then break below it use it at resistance then support again and lately we had another retest that failed here so 
for the dollar bulls if the uh, if uh, the push continue to the upside you should be looking for a possible uh, reversal here yeah uh, let's not forget that uh, previously we had uh, this move here we broke this uh, major structure so now this high is the key level if uh, this swing high is not taken out we are going back on the dollar there is also a possibility that we start reversing already from this area based on uh, the retest of this uh, structure level here as well so this is also a um, great level of uh, interest on uh, on this market you see that we've been testing that uh, many times as well as um, resistance area a lots of structure here uh, this is still the same level even here uh, back here so it is a, a, an area of interest absolutely uh, going down to lower time frame we see that we just reached the uh, 200 moving average on the uh, four hour we reach it also uh, monthly or one as i mentioned earlier and uh, there is a possibility that we have some kind of trend line to follow now uh, we could keep an eye on this trend line and see uh, if uh, the bulls will fail to to uh, continue moving higher again if uh, the bulls push higher you should keep an eye on uh, this level the 97.75 uh, um Another scenario is that you may see a correction back to the downside here, uh, back toward this level. As far as this is holding, there is a possibility for continuation toward this area before the next uh, dip to the downside to happen. Yeah. Uh, so those are the scenarios for the dollar. Uh, downside um, support is down here. Uh, oops, around the 50%. Uh, uh, Fibonacci of this uh, move down here yeah so uh, down here is your um, key level of support uh, if this uh, keep holding as support especially uh, these lows here keep holding as support then there is a possibility for another bounce higher um, that was it for the dollar for the oil I still think there is uh, the possibility for this continuation uh, even here on oil I did publish an idea about uh, a possible uh, sell level it was a clear area of uh, possible resistance 618 Fibonacci retracement uh, at this level uh, here uh, as you see 618 we had uh, previous structure uh, previous structure level we had um, uh, monthly R1 as well at this area from uh, previous months so um, we've got the first bounce to the downside after that uh, idea was published so if we go down to lower time frame to the four hour I still uh, see the same possibility so now if you missed this move if you miss this move as well you should be looking for this uh, correction to end and possibly the next leg to happen so keep an eye on this level this is what i'm looking for a possible um, retest of this broken structure to then um, continue back down to test this level uh, down here the broken uh, this broken structure to be tested again is the main idea on uh, on oil uh, gold also reached a key level and um, yeah I've been talking about this uh, previous uh, rejection here we've got another retest to that area and then start dip down so we have a new range to keep an eye at and that is this low down here around the, the monthly pivot point and of course the previous high is the, also the key resistance on gold so um, keep an eye on this range now we have um, a clear range to work with uh, it could uh, keep consolidating here inside this range um, something like this is a very possible scenario by low sell high but if the range was uh, to break then there is a, a possibility for a deeper correction yeah so um, if we break this range like uh, this you have the 38.2 here you have 618 here so a possibility down to 618 could be a good level to start looking for buys so short term on gold um, i'm looking uh, i'm still looking for this uh, correction to happen a, a little bit more downside before the continuation higher but let's not forget about this uh, key level down here this area down here the 1365 uh, level gonna be a clear um, area that got broken here and that gonna 
possibly be defended by the bulls so to keep an eye on that level yeah short term downside long term by the longer term dips and uh, euro also um, week last uh, uh, from last week uh, kept pushing lower monday was a very very strong push to the downside went sideways a couple of days and then pushed lower um, on the nfp uh, there is still room to the downside on euro to test these lows so i think that is a possible market objective to then start looking at this level for a possible uh, bounce from this area so keep an eye on this level as your possible uh, level to buy at um, <coughs> on the euro usd uh, pair okay so uh, again as you see here even on the four hour there is nothing on the way to hold this market unless until we reach this level down here so if we next week get some kind of correction slow going correction uh, beer flag or something like that you could try to look for a sell back down to uh, tag this low down here before the reversal um, may happen so uh, again retest continuation then look for upside from this level down here sterling usd uh, still holding at support if we go to the daily time frame we see that we almost uh, tested this low down here we pushed back above this low so there was no daily close uh, below um, uh, this level down here it is a pretty um, nice area now where the market is testing and um, as far as there is no uh, break below this uh, bulls may keep defending and trying to push the price back above 1.26 uh, the 1.26 is a key level of uh, resistance now as you see we broke it we made the flag we pushed lower once again but on the four hour we had a nice rejection here to go back uh, and close above uh, the support level so there was no break of that um, so keep watching this level is it um, a, a bear flag that gonna break and give you another retest to the downside well that is very very possible but um, <coughs> that uh, gonna be also uh, an area that the bulls may really defend so i would not sell a flag here uh, especially that we do have this previous structure uh, as uh, as possible uh, support again on the four hour this structure is not broken and um, there is a possibility that you see the bulls pushing back up to 1.26 1.26 gonna be the key structure they need to break above it for more upside if they fail again we are going for one more round to the downside and we may be gonna break this time <clears throat> USD Jappy also nice push uh, to the upside uh, last week but now we are testing uh, the key uh, 108.50 structure this level here gonna be an important area to keep an eye at because we we uh, we we know that a level of resistance since previously we go to the daily time frame and uh, we see that we had a uh, lots of structure at this level so 108 we uh, tested this level many time in the past this is a key range here and um, yeah as far as the 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 pair is holding above that it is still have uh, some chance for continuation but really for more upside it need to break above this to give you the next push toward the uh, 110 area yeah so any break above this structure here you should target uh, 110 area uh, it is a clear range here on the lower time frame so keep an eye on this keep keep an eye on this low <clears throat> any retest uh, sorry any move back down toward this low down here could uh, could be a level that may get defended so make it uh, easy keep following uh, this range for now sell high buy low until you have a break out of it if the break happened to be to the downside then you should target month monthly s1 down here the previous low at around uh, 10685 area this is a very possible target if the break below 10750 happened yeah so uh, for now the rsi on the four hour uh, at uh, overbought 
uh, we testing the 200 moving average previous structure high previous uh, uh, major uh, area here that been tested many times so uh, keep watching here there is a possibility for uh, this market to give you another bounce to the downside uh, early next week usd chief also uh, nice and strong push uh, to the upside but even though this still um, looks very bullish especially uh, this move here this whole leg does not really change much of the daily structure the daily structure is still in a uh, bearish bearish mode we still have this previous high is the major one to be broken for this to called a possible reversal so <clears throat> Sorry. So uh, even though you see all this happening, there is still um, chances for this market to reverse back to the downside. Uh, but what's important for now is we uh, broke above this uh, structure here, which was a key level. So <clears throat> we know that area here was a good support area uh, level. So uh, after a break, retest another retest still holding we pushed higher and uh, we testing a uh, probable uh, trend line here as you see we testing also the 200 moving average on the four hour as well as a uh, possible dynamic uh, support uh, so to keep an eye on this level here there is a possibility that um, if you get a signal that you may see another dip back down so if that is the case bulls may defend this low down here as far as the price is above this uh, low down here there is a possible uh, continuation to the upside from this area to um, for the bulls uh, for the bears to take control they need to break below this structure and if that is the case if we if we see a break below this structure then we are going for another attempt toward this uh, low down here and maybe deeper because as i told you again on the daily time frame the major structures on the daily still um, uh, bearish and not broken yeah as you see here structure wise lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower high another lower low and this could be all this could be just one leg and then more downside yeah uh, so longer term you should uh, keep looking to uh, sell um, rallies and this structure here is a, a pretty interesting structure we know that uh, been acting as good uh, support level here uh, previously and may get tested now as resistance where the price is testing right now is a key level already okay so nothing will change this uh, structure unless you see this high taken out and usd cat also uh, still weak but losing some momentum uh, we see that it is start uh, uh, with after this dip all the moves keep pushing to the downside but smaller body candles rounding a little bit now um, there is still a possibility for this market to keep pushing to the downside strong especially after um, uh, next week uh, when we uh, gonna see the uh, monetary policy from the CAD and the, um, the press conference this gonna be uh, the key event uh, to give a catalyst for this market uh, my view on this market uh, longer term is uh, for more downside so I'm keep seeing this happening another impulse correction and now we broke out of the correction so my view is still that we're gonna see this uh, this trade to happen yeah this is a very long term uh, same on the daily time frame that we're gonna continue but i would like to see um, some correction to the upside now especially if we enter to this skill zone here to then look for the set yeah so hopefully if this happened next week uh, we should keep an eye on this uh, area here if the price enter this level to start looking for a better signal to try and sell it okay Aussie USD also um, 
made a double top here and uh, pushed lower again on the daily time frame you see that we are still below the 200 moving average we still below uh, this trend line so uh, the structure is still uh, not changed yet and um, we could not say that we do have a reversal now um, we had a nice run to the upside but uh, after that we've got this uh, very strong bearish engulfing on on Monday uh, corrected almost <laughs> uh, more than a previous high to then start pushing lower so now we have a nice range to work with uh, on this market and this is uh, the range I'm talking about so keep an eye on this it, this may get defended by the bulls here uh, we have the monthly uh, pivot point 38.2 Fibonacci the 200 moving average on the four hour is uh, picking uh, here to the upside soon um, so this uh, this level um, should be watched closely if you see um, any double bottom here bulls defending there is a possibility that we see another bounce to the upside and attempt to break this previous high and continue higher but if the bulls leave uh, lose this battle and you see a break below this structure here then there is a possibility for a continuation move to the downside maybe toward monthly s1 is uh, pretty uh, possible if that um, break happen yeah so to keep an eye on this structure if the break happen below this then the continuation is to come for more downside uh, on um, aussie usd New Zealand USD we had this uh, nice run to the upside also that got broken so uh, if we look at this on the daily time frame we had actually a uh, strong break above previous high so we had this uh, double bottom scenario here we had we had also a break above the necklines that confirmed the pattern but then we reached the 200 moving average and we reached this uh, previously broken structure here as you see it is a key structure that got broken here on the way to the downside did not got tested until last week and as you see we tested that followed by bearish engulfing correction uh, and then a break of uh, the neckline even on this one so uh, there was uh, big hopes that this uh, a uh, possible uh, reversal on this market and um, that um, people start talking uh, of possible continuation but that didn't uh, materialize yet uh, on lower time frame we see that we actually did break uh, the double top here uh, so the neckline of this double top is now broken and um, yeah we uh, are in the seller zone after breaking this trend line so I think there is still a possibility uh, for this market to reach uh, down here toward the 618 uh, Fibonacci retracement and the monthly S1 so for next week I think uh, if you uh, look for a retest of this uh, broken structure um, to look for a possible um, sell here back down toward this skill zone yeah uh, there is a, a big chance that this could be uh, something like this happening you see a retest you see a bounce back down toward the 618 and monthly s1 and then start looking for maybe uh, the reversal to happen back to the upside so this is what i'm looking for uh, for next week but of course um, there's no need to uh, start guessing uh, five move uh, forward so what we should be looking for as first is if we're gonna get this correction to this area to then try to sell it another uh, thing you could do is uh, now after having this double top is to look for a possible uh, 2618 trade based on this uh, trade um, pattern you look for a retracement uh, to 618 you have a limit order just below the 618 you target previous low as target one and um, the next target should be around the monthly s uh, the monthly s1 something like this if you don't know how to trade the 2618 just make a search in my uh, youtube channel i have a video about that where i explain it in details but basically 
the double top is confirmed we have a break of the neckline and as i told you you look for a 618 retracement we have some nice structure also at that level here on the lower time frame as you see so that could be a pretty nice area to to try to look for a sell uh, most of the time the market uh, push a little bit higher than uh, the retest area before uh, making the move so do not expect the market to just move to the pip and start reversing if you're looking to sell rallies yeah that is not uh, always uh, the case so uh, yeah with that uh, we end this uh, video uh, thanks a lot for watching guys uh, again do not forget to uh, hit the, the like button leave a comment tell me what you think about these videos that will help the video a lot thank you very much and uh, see you next week bye bye